A math professor at MIT gave his students a difficult problem to solve. It took his team two years to solve it, but a janitor at the school solved it in just two minutes. At first, the professor thought the janitor was messing around, but upon closer inspection, he realized that the janitor's answer was completely correct. However, when the professor tried to find the janitor, he had already been arrested for assaulting a police officer and was representing himself in court. William, the janitor, skillfully quoted various laws, leaving the professional lawyer speechless. The professor was amazed by William's performance. However, the judge did not sympathize with William, understanding that he had a difficult childhood being abused in foster family, but assaulting an officer was crossing the line. Therefore, he sentenced William to jail and set a bail of $50,000. This gave Professor Gerald an opportunity. He believed that William was a mathematical genius rarely seen in a century. He offered to pay the bail for William, but under the condition that William had to assist him in solving a mathematical problem and see a psychologist once a week. Helping with the math problem was not a problem for William as it was a piece of cake for him. However, seeing a psychologist was challenging for him. Nevertheless, it was better than going to jail, so William agreed to the professor's conditions. The professor was very satisfied with William's mathematical abilities and they worked together seamlessly to solve the problems that had troubled the professor for a long time. However, the other condition did not go so smoothly. William disliked seeing psychologists, so he came up with a plan. Before seeing each psychologist, he would read their books to learn about them and use the knowledge to drive them crazy. In the process of hypnosis, he even sang loudly to mock the doctor. William successfully drove away all the psychologists that the professor had arranged for him. The professor had no choice but to ask his old friend Sean to provide psychological counseling for William. Just like before, William closed himself off and tried his best to refuse to answer Sean's questions. He had read many books and considered the books on Sean's shelf as rubbish. Sean just went along with it and didn't say anything. Until William saw a painting, he finally found a breakthrough. From the painting, he deduced that Sean had suffered a severe blow before. He guessed that Sean had been abandoned by a woman. At first, Sean remained calm, but as William became more offensive, insulting Sean's wife, Sean finally couldn't bear it and became angry. William won this round, but what he didn't expect was that his behavior didn't make Sean give up. Instead, it strengthened Sean's determination to save him. On Thursday, William came again, and this time, Sean planned to take him to a place. They went to a park and sat by the river. At first, William was still being sarcastic, but Sean's words touched his heart. He said William was just a reckless child, even though he had read many books, he had never left the city. If Sean talked about art, William would reply with theoretical answers from books. Even if he had read about the Sistine Chapel from over 500 years ago, he wouldn't know the smell inside the church or the feeling of seeing precious paintings on the ceiling. And when it came to women, he might have had some casual flings, but he couldn't say what it felt like to wake up next to a loved one, nor had he experienced the pain of losing someone dear in the hospital after a two-month struggle. Sean pointed out that William knew a lot but had never truly experienced life. Just like how William was an orphan, Sean couldn't claim to understand William's tragic childhood just by reading Oliver Twist. What Sean was truly interested in was the kind of person William was, not how many books he had read or how intelligent he was. For the first time, William felt understood and someone spoke to the depths of his heart. But he didn't give in easily. From then on, every time they met, they wouldn't exchange a word. William had to be the first to speak or everything they had done before would be in vain. And on this day, William couldn't resist anymore and told a joke to the teetering Sean. In fact, this action was a way for him to seek advice. It all started with a night when William and his friends went to a bar near Harvard University. William's friend, Chucky, pretended to be a Harvard student to impress girls. However, a nearby Harvard student found out and intentionally asked Chucky difficult questions about his major. Chucky, who hadn't studied much, couldn't answer the question. William couldn't stand the arrogance of the Harvard student and not only answered all of his questions but also pointed out that his opinions were just plagiarized from books, lacking originality. In the end, William successfully handled the situation and caught the attention of Skylar, who had been sitting next to them the whole time. Before leaving, Skylar gave William her phone number. From then on, William started dating Skylar. He experienced the sweetness of love for the first time, but also the pain. He told Sean that in order to keep Skylar's perfect impression of him, he wanted to see her but was afraid to make new plans with her. Sean believed that it's interesting to maintain the perfection of the first impression by never really getting to know anyone deeply. However, he told William a joke. 
When his wife was still alive, she let out a loud fart once. Indeed, this might be seen as a flaw by others, but it was the small quirks like these that Sean remembered for a long time, and it was these imperfections that created beautiful memories between him and his wife. He knew that William was also afraid of showing his imperfections to Skylar, afraid that she would eventually leave him. But that's love. Both people need to see each other's imperfections and love is loving each other deeply even after seeing the imperfections. This time, William lost track of time while chatting with Sean. But no matter what, he still followed Sean's advice, untied his knots, and took the first step forward at school. Unfortunately, Skylar said she had some assignments to complete and they agreed to meet again tomorrow. But William couldn't wait. He completed Skylar's assignment as quickly as possible and returned to give her the answers, hoping she would agree to go out with him. There is no substitute for the original movie. A good film is worth watching it yourself. But you don't know where you can watch these movies? Use Superbox. With Superbox, you can access all live TV channels in 4K quality. It also provides access to over 13,000 movies and series, and updates with the newest content very often. The total cost for one of these is two months of your cable bill. Then you never have to pay fees or bills ever again. Click the link in my bio and use my code to get it at a better price.